Hey guys, this is Cody here with PSI Power. Today we've got this 97 F250 old square body 7.3 that we're going to be installing one of our Ag Diesel Solutions uh, six position chips on. So as you open one of our boxes, what you're going to get is the six position switch to control the chip. You're going to get the chip itself. You're going to get detailed pictures instructions to show you where to install the chip, how to do it, things like that. You're also going to get a piece of scotch brite pad to clean the contacts on the ECM. And then you're also going to get two zip ties to, to mount the switch wiring. So first thing you want to do when installing this chip is disconnect both engine batteries and then locate the ECM, which is down here in the firewall on the driver's side uh, fender well. And we'll show you where that's at next. So as previously discussed, you're looking for the ECM, which is right down here. There's going to be one 10 millimeter bolt that holds on the wiring harness. And then there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt on top and bottom of the ECM that holds it in place. And you're going to want to take off all three of those nuts to disconnect the ECM. So now that we have the wiring harness disconnected, we have removed the plate that holds the ECM attached to the firewall. On these older square bodies, the ECM pulls out into the engine bay from the firewall. Uh, if you want to, you can either remove the inner fender liner or you can just loosen it to where you can move a little bit to help with the ease of getting down here to these bolts and things like that. But once you have all that disconnected, just take the ECM and pull it out of the firewall. So now that you have your ECM out, what you're going to do is you're going to locate this portion of it. You're going to take the perforated scotch bright and you're going to clean off the contacts both on top and bottom. And you want to make sure that you get them really well. Um, they're covered in what's like a conformal coating type material. So you want to clean all that off and you're going to want a shiny um, copper like looking color. Uh, so you can insert the, the chip into the ECM. Now that you have cleaned the contacts on your ECM, now it's time to put the chip together and install it on the ECM. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your six position switch, take the connector, plug it into the chip. You'll hear a snap and you'll see it click and engage. Take your ECM, and this part is very crucial, to insert the chip evenly onto there so you don't... Um, tear up the contacts on the ECM here. So just push it down slowly in place. Make sure it's going down flush and even with itself. Now the chip's installed. <clears throat> now usually what we like to do to help prevent moisture building up in here is we take duct tape and we'll cover this back over to help hold it in place so it doesn't vibrate or moisture builds it inside there. So now that you're ready to route the switch wiring into the cab, <clears throat> the ECM is gonna be behind this kick panel here. So what you're gonna to need to do is take out the four Phillips screws in this uh, trim piece, pull this off, and then you can pop out your kick panel. And now you have access to see into where the ECM is gonna come in place, and then you can route your wiring however you would like to mount it wherever you need to on the dash. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your switch cable and carefully route it down through the hole that the ECM came out of through the firewall and you're probably going to have to go back and forth from the cab so you can grab the wiring unless you have a second pair of hands helping you. So now that you have the switch wiring mounted through the cab, you're going to want to put the cover back over the ECM, bolt it back down, go back and hook in the wiring harness to the ECM, and be sure to bolt it back down all the way to where it's fully seated. And so put the cover back over the ECM that bolts it back into place, the, the two nuts, the one on top and bottom. After you do that, move back to the wiring harness, connect it back to the ECM, bolt it down, make sure the connector is fully seated on both top and bottom. And then you can move into hooking your batteries back up. So now we're back in the cab to finish up this install. So what you need to do is take your wiring and you can route it whichever way you want, however you want to mount the switch. Most guys will just ride it up through here and drill a hole and mount it to their dash. On this particular vehicle, we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Once you have the switch where you want it, put your kick panel back into place. And then take your trim piece that you took off and bolt it back down. And that completes this install. So on the Ag Diesel Solutions chip, you're going to have six settings. All the way counterclockwise is stock. At that point, we're not doing anything. Second setting is high idle. That's counterclockwise one to the right. Third setting is your 50 horse setting. Fourth setting, setting is your 75 horse. Fifth is 100 horse. And sixth is the hot tune up to 140 horse.